like to tell you the story of the emperor, the pharaoh has no clothes or what not not to wear. So once upon a time, there was a great pharaoh. The pharaoh, though, he was very vain. He liked to look at himself in the mirror a lot. So, you know, one day this merchant came along and he was all like, Yo, dude, I got this awesome fabric I can make. It's totally magical. And, you know, like, number one, it's just, it's amazing. It's awesome. Number two, your friends are totally going to be jealous of you when you wear these clothes made out of this fabric. It's going to be like a redong. Three, like, you wouldn't even believe it. Stop! Let me stop you right there. You had me at amazing. Here, look, take all my gold. You know, go make me some of those fabrics so I can... You know, wear it for fashion week. It's going to be great. So, you know, pretty much I think you know what happened. The story, that part of the story goes the same. The guy really didn't make anything. He took off with all the money. And, you know, lo and behold, fashion week comes. So the emperor, I mean the pharaoh, the pharaoh wearing his new fashions comes out, you know, on the stage. And everybody starts laughing because he's naked. The fabric is invisible. It's truly magical. Uh, but everybody's laughing. This is, you look ridiculous. You're, you're naked, dude. You're naked. Get off the stage. Ah! You know, the pharaoh's gone crazy. So the pharaoh, you know, looks down on himself. But he was just a really cool pharaoh. He had a lot of confidence. So he just stood there and he said, yeah, this is my fashion. And then the people were all enthralled, and they were like, "Yo, we love you! It's awesome! Woo! Yeah! I want to be like the Pharaoh! Pharaoh rocks, everybody! Woo!" Soon, the Pharaoh had chains of fashion boutiques. The stock went through the roof. You know, it was unreal. It was like, you know, on talk shows everywhere. Everybody was famous. Everybody loved him. But that's not where the story starts. The story starts with his children. So his children, they also wanted to be famous fashion nistas and fashion gurus. So they decided they're just going to do what their dad did because he was famous. So we'll just do it too. So they all just got naked. And when, you know, fashion week came, they went out on stage and everyone was not impressed. Boo! You suck! Yeah, everybody knows about naked fashion. Like, we're all naked. Ooh, duh. Oh my god, so Pharaoh saw this, he was not impressed. He decided it was time to call upon the gods for help. So he called Thoth and Heka and asked them to come and assist his kids with their fashions. So they're like, yeah, no probs. We'll come down. We're super awesome and talented. Hey kids, like here we are. We're here to help you, you know, and uh, we're going to help you activate your creativity, your ka. So all the kids start handing them their work and they say, hey, okay, yeah, give us some fashions. Like, do these fashions. We need new fashions. It's almost fashion week again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. This is this is not what's going to happen. We're not here to do your work for you. And we couldn't even do that if we tried. If we did it, it would just be our work. That's ridiculous. Oh, no. Well, what are we supposed to do? We don't know anything about fashions. How are we supposed to make fashions? It's almost fashion week again. There was like a lot of fashion weeks back then. <laughs> so the gods said, listen, look, just look at us. We're amazing. We're awesome. And we're really well dressed. We know what we're talking about. Okay. So let me tell you, you only need one thing. And that thing is confidence. Confidence. Confidence will allow any of your ideas to be followed through to be the best. You just need confidence. Oh, so, you know, well, where are we supposed to get confidence? I don't, uh, so not confident. Uh, can you give us some? Do you have some with you? Like, should we go buy some? Hmm. So the gods had to think. Well, um, so you get confidence from experience from experience and you gain experience through practice you have to practice it's just like riding a bike so you ride it you know you practice riding a bike you do it really well 
and then, you know, hey, you have experience, and that will give you confidence. Oh, oh no, <laughs> it's even worse. Oh, we don't have any experience. We don't. We never practice anything. Oh, what are we supposed to practice? We don't even know what to do. Oh, it's pointless. Never mind. But wait, wait. We know this one. This is this is the easy one. Um, all you need to get experience is have experiences. It's easy. You just go. You, know, you can. Uh, Take a look at things. You can read books. You could go on the internet. You could go for a walk. You could smell the roses. You know, experience life. Take a look at the things around you. And those will help to inspire you and help to, you know, see which direction you want to go. You mean like this? How, how about this? Is this a good fashion? You know, like I saw that teapot over there. <laughs> uh, um, well a start yeah sure well how, what about this yeah okay okay that's better that's better okay now go off go off and have experiences and experience things and experience life so the four uh, sons and daughters of the pharaoh go off in all four directions of egypt and have experiences while well, the gods wait so they wait for them to return and they wait they wait until finally they come back and they have so many ideas. What about this now? Look at this. And the gods look and they look and they decide, these are awesome. We love them. These are great. You keep going with these ideas and you go and, you know, have an awesome fashion week. So they go to fashion week. It's a huge success. Everybody's like, Woo! we love you. Princess and princesses. Fashions are so awesome. Totally didn't get some. And like everything was awesome there. And also everyone started to call on the gods more because, you know, they saw what good work they did. So that was all awesome. And then they all celebrated and drank some champagne. Then they all lived happily ever after. The end.